Hello and welcome to this video on Microsoft Excel. My name is Kyle Pugh and during this lecture we're going to be taking a look at the Excel repeat function or REPT. Now open in front of you I've got an example file that I'm going to offer a link for you to download and follow along with me or just practice this function. You can find a link to this file down in the description below this video. So if you pause the video really quick, scroll down, look for the Office Noob link, and you can download the file from that link. And while you're down there, down below, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you get updates about new videos that I upload to this channel. So the file you're gonna look for is called show ratings-01. It's an Excel file. So you can download that and open it up and follow along with me. Now, what is the REPT or the repeat function? Well, let's take a look at it. So open in front of you, this workbook's got a single worksheet inside of it and it's got a simple little table, nothing big, two little columns. It's got a show where I've listed out a few of the popular shows as of this point and the audience score. Um, the ratings that the audience has given to these shows. Now, what I'd like to do is I want to visually see these ratings. Well, there's actually a few different ways we can do this. We could create a chart, but a chart becomes its own object and it floats around on the worksheet. I just want a quick in-cell, that's a key right there, in-cell visual representation of the audience score. Well, how can we do that? Well, here is the repeat function. The purpose of the repeat function, let me just open up the argument window here. I'm gonna click into cell C2. I'm gonna say equals REPT. I'm gonna open up a parentheses. And you can see here that it's got two arguments. It's got a text value and it's got the number of times. Now remember, this is the repeat function. All it's gonna do is repeat some text that you define, that first argument there, a set number of times. You tell it how many times to repeat. To see this a little bit clearer, I'm gonna hit the little FX button here, and this will open up the argument window for us. So REPT repeats text a given number of times. Use the rept or repeat function to fill a cell with the number of instances of a text string. Text is the text you want to repeat, and the number of times is a positive number specifying the number of times you want that text to repeat. All right, let's try this out. Let's say, just as an example, 88%, that's roughly three to four stars. Okay? So I'm gonna say equals REPT, open up that parentheses, and the first thing I'm gonna do is specify what it is that I want to repeat. Let's just use an asterisk here. Now it is a string value or text value. So I am gonna wrap that asterisk inside of quotes. Then I'll do a comma. And the second argument is how many times do I want it to repeat? Well, let's say 88% is three stars. So I'm gonna just put in the number three. I'll close the parentheses and I'm gonna hit my enter key. And there's my three stars. Now I'd like to do this for each of the shows here. So I could copy this formula down, but we've put in a literal numeric value in there, three. It's always gonna repeat the number three. Well, I want it to look at the score and determine what it should do. Well, here, I'm gonna go back to the first one. Instead of the literal three, I wanna reference this value, but this value right here is a percentage. It's got an 88, 88, percent audience score out of 100. Okay, so audience really, really enjoyed this one, 88%. Well, to get that to be represented by a integer value, a whole number such as one, two, three, or four, we're gonna do out of four stars. I'm gonna say, instead of three, I'm gonna grab the 88% and I'm gonna multiply that by four. And we're gonna say out of four stars. I'll hit my enter key. All right, there's my three still, nothing changed, but I'm gonna drag that down. And here we can see the first four received three stars, 
72% for Yellowstone was two stars, Willow one, Rings of Power one, and so on. So now through a little bit of math, we can make this a little more dynamic. Now let's take this a step further. I'm repeating, again, a literal string. In this case, we're just repeating the asterisk a number of times. Taking the audience score percentage, to multiplying that by four out of four stars, and it's repeating it that many times. Now let's take it a step further. I don't want the asterisk. I want something a little more dynamic. Well, on my keyboard, I'm gonna give you a shortcut key. We're gonna get access to the emoji icons. So on your keyboard, right now I've got the asterisk there highlighted. I'm actually just gonna delete it, but my cursor is still in between the quotes. So now on my keyboard, I'm gonna press the window key and the period, window period. This should open up your emoji window. Inside of here, there's loads of emojis with different categories you can go through, or you can go to the little magnifying glass. You can type in a keyword such as star. There's a few different stars for me. I'm gonna grab this second one here. And you can see up above, it has inserted that into my formula. So now, I'll hit my enter key. There's my three stars. I'm gonna drag it down, and there's my stars. How cool is that? I'm gonna take it one step further. This 97% here, this should really be four stars. And depending on where it lands within the percentage, what how many decimals it has, maybe we want to round it up. So I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to go back to my first formula, and I'm going to wrap that math, B2 times 4, inside of the round function. And I'm going to say zero digits, and I'll close that parentheses. So we're going to take the results of B2 times 4 and give it zero digits and it should round up for us. There's my four stars for that one. Copy that down. Four, three, three, four, three, two, two, one, two. What do you think? This is the repeat function, or R-E-P-T. It'll repeat a string variable, or in our case right here, an emoji, a set number of times, and you get to specify that. Very cool, make sure you try it out. Hop down to the description if you haven't already. Download the file from the Office Noob link and you can practice it right there. If you learned something new, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let us know how you're going to use the repeat function. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get updates about new videos that I upload to this channel. Until next time, practice it and I'll see you then.